feels very close to my face. Hey everybody, it's Kathleen. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I figured I would do a little sit down, kind of talking with you video. Um, if you had seen my video two videos ago, not the last one, but the one before that, I read some uh, scary stories from Reddit. And I said that I believe in the paranormal and that I lived in a house where I experienced paranormal activity. Not the movie, so that'd be really scary. But um, I figured I'd just share my and my family's experiences with you guys because it's real and it kind of fits with Halloween, so why not, right? So just to say this at the beginning of the video, these are things that happened to me personally and to my family. You can decide whether you want to believe it or not, but this is what I lived for, what, from the age of 3 to 20? So a good 17 years. So I was 3 when we first moved into our house. Um, it's an old farmhouse, like big 1800s farmhouse with an attached barn. It was huge and while it did have like, you know, some flaws with it, all old farmhouses do in Maine, uh, we loved it. So we moved. Um, so the first night in, this is a story that my dad had told me, uh, the first night in the house, my dad, my uncle, and one of my cousins were sitting in the living room, just watching TV, you know. It was July, mind you. Middle of July in Maine is usually about uh, mid-80s during the day and at night. You probably get into the 60s, maybe. That's pushing it. It was about, he said it was about 9 o'clock at night. And, you know, sitting there watching TV, mind their own business, and all of a sudden the room got freezing. And to the point where it's like you had opened the door and it was January. Like that cold. And then it went away. And my dad was like, what on earth could do that? Like what? So he kind of like brushed it off like, yeah, whatever. It was weird. Let's move on. And so the next day, my cousin had come down from one of our guest rooms, which was the cold room, which we called it. It didn't have any heat in it. It was kind of like our spare bedroom that was on the far side of the house. And my cousin came down and said, Uncle Greg, why were you standing over my bed last night? And my dad, he's six foot tall, kind of got scruffy hair, has a mustache, you know, wears a flannel, pretty much the same outfit every day. <laughs> but um, he's like very specific looking. And so my dad's like, what are you talking about? Why would I stand over your bed? And my cousin's like, there was a guy standing over my bed wearing an old timey ball cap, kind of looked like you in the middle of the night. And then he wasn't there. My dad's like, that's really weird. So it was a little bit later. My dad had just gotten a job working at Walmart, working the graveyard shift. So he had to be at work by like, 11 o'clock at night and so he was sitting on the couch waiting for 11 o'clock waiting for the time to roll around for him to leave and it was about i want to say it was like november he said it was about november and the heater came on we have like an old heating system where the heat blows hot air up from vents in the floor and then we have one right like in front of our office door in the living room and it turned on and my dad was just, you know, staring off. And he saw like a puff of white just come up from the heating vent. And it kind of, he said it kind of looked like, you know, like a flowy dress, like, you know how Marilyn Monroe's dress like floated around when she went over the vent, that kind of thing. And then it disappeared. And so my dad's like, hmm, might be a ghost. <laughs> you might have ghosts in this house. My dad also would be sleeping in bed um, on the first floor. His bedroom was on the first floor, him and my mom's on the first floor. Um, and he would wake up in the middle of the night and hear 
music, like a lady singing. So he was here singing in the middle of the night and he would stop and he would just listen as close as he could and he couldn't make out any words. He couldn't hear like anything specific, but he'd hear this tune that this lady would sing. He would like get up to go see like, you know, is someone watching TV? Is someone listening to the radio? What, what's going on? And there would be nothing. Everyone would be asleep. So that was that. Um, he would also be laying in bed at night and hear breathing and thinking it was my dog. Cause my dog used to sleep on the bed with him at night. He was a spoiled dog. He still is a spoiled dog. But um, he would hear breathing and he would put his arm over to pet Mocha and there wouldn't be anybody there. And then he'd hear it coming from the floor and he'd look down and the dog wouldn't be there or the dog would be on the bed. That's about it for stories from other people. I've had a couple experiences, nothing like super crazy, but you know, noticeable. And the first thing that I can remember was in my living room, we had a staircase like going down and then we had a front door that, you know, led to the staircase. And so I was sitting on the couch one night. It was real late at night. It was like 11 o'clock. It was during the summer. And I used to pull close to all nighters when I was a kid watching TV. It was weird, but um, I was just sitting and watching TV and out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone come down the stairs and go out the front door. And it kind of looked like a man like what my cousin and my aunt had said was standing over them, watching them. It's kind of what it looked like. And I was like, it's probably my imagination. I'm pretty tired. Maybe I should just go to sleep. But one of the other nights, no. But about a week later, I saw a girl, it was about the same time of night. I saw a girl come out of the office, which was connected to the living room come out, take a couple steps, steps out in the living room and disappear. I was like, I know I'm not crazy. I totally saw that. That's insane. Like what? And so like 10 year old me was like, ghosts, bro, <laughs> it's ghosts. And then a little later on, I was a little bit older, probably about 13. I was sitting on my bed doing homework and I always have water with me, like always have a water bottle because I'm constantly drinking water. But I had my water bottle at, like right at my feet. And I was sitting there doing homework, doing homework. And my mom called me for dinner and I got up, left the room, went to get dinner. And then when I came back later on, I was looking for my water bottle and I couldn't find it. I'm like, okay, I know I left it right here at the foot of the bed where it could have gone. I checked on the floor, I checked underneath the bed. It was nowhere. I was like, that's really weird. Maybe I put it somewhere and I didn't think about it. I don't know. It was some weeknight and then it was the weekend. I had to change my sheet. So I was taking all my pillows off my bed because I had like a bunch of pillows on my bed. So I took them all off and behind the pillows, like wedged against the headboard and my mattress was my water bottle. I'm like, now how on earth could that have gotten there without being purposely placed there? Like I would never put my water bottle like behind my pillows that makes no sense to me more recently like about a year ago i was laying in bed <laughs> asleep in the middle of the night i was exhausted because i had just worked a 12-hour shift and you know tired but i was just laying there because i wake up in the middle of the night and you know i have to roll over and then i can fall asleep but i woke up opened my eyes I saw a lady standing in my closet. Like my bed would be like, let's just put it this way. My bed was like here and my closet door was right here. And I always keep, the, keep my closet door open. I mean, it's one weird thing about me. I keep closet doors open. Don't know why, just do, it's a habit. But there was a lady, a white lady just standing there. Now I'm not calling like white, like Caucasian, but like full white, like ghost, translucent white. And I just kind of looked at her and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to sleep. So if you could not prank me, that'd be cool. And I rolled over and went back to sleep. And then the last thing that happened to me before we moved, it was about, I want to say about two weeks before we moved. And I was sitting on my bed and I was just watching YouTube on my Xbox. 
I was just chilling and I heard from like because my room has a doorway that leads to a little hallway that goes down the stairs and I heard hey cat and I'm like yeah and I waited I'm like yeah thinking it was my parents and then I waited again and I got frustrated you know how it happens like your parents call you you say yes and they don't answer you so you have to get up and like go so I got up and I went down the stairs I'm like hello did what do you need and they're like what are you talking about I'm like somebody called my name my dad's like it wasn't me my mom's like I was outside I was like great <laughs> that's that's great and so I went back up to my bed I sat down and I thought about it and I'm like I know that voice where do I know that voice so I was thinking and I was thinking and I was like that's my cousin and a little backstory on it my cousin had killed himself about oh man it's been about a year and a half now maybe a more and it was like literally out of nowhere like most um suicide cases are it basically like punched a hole through our family's hearts like he came up and visited us every year and he would stay with us over the summer and yeah he was my cousin so obviously I didn't get along with him all the time but he was still like he was kind of like a brother to me we spent so much time together it was his voice and I was like wow it's so weird but yeah that was that was all of my experiences that I've had in my old house. If you have any ghost stories or ghost experiences like I have, you can leave them in the comments. I love to hear those kind of things because, you know, I'm like a ghost spirit buff. Love hearing those kind of things. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more content from me. I post every Monday and Thursday. Had to think about it for a second. That was gibberish. Uh, subscribe to see more content from me. I post every Monday and Thursday. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go get some dinner because I am starving right now. <laughs> but um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!